Hello students. So after learning with the terms and terminologies, in this part we'll be dealing with the Heisen's principle. In Heisen's principle, we'll be looking into how the waves translate, how they move, and what are their properties that are being affected in the movements. So let's start this part. Hello students. So now we'll discuss the topic Heisen's principle. We'll see how this Heisen's principle help us to determine the motion of the wave front. We have seen what a wave front is, how uh, how it moves, how uh, in the shape it moves and how we can draw the wavefronts. Now we'll see how what happens when a wavefront is moving and when it is moving what are the conditions under which it moves. Okay, so this Heisen's principle this is a geometrical construction which is used to determine the new position of a wavefront at a later time from its given position at any instant. So if you have the position at any point of time you can determine the position at any later instant by applying the Heisen's principle. Now this principle it gives you a method to know as to how the light spreads out in the medium. Okay, so the light is following a particular path. So you will know how this light is moving, how it is spreading in a particular medium. So like if you see a point source is there, what will happen to the light? Light is moving like this, right? In all the directions it emanates like this. In this manner. This is how the light is moving. Okay. This is the physical interpretation that we all know. Now in terms of the wave front, how the wave front is moving, this is given by the Heisen's principle. We have seen how the wave front moves. At a particular point, you know this is a wave front. At a later time, this will be a wave front for a point source. Now how this wave front is moving from here to here like this, this wave front that you see. This is moving like this. How this moves at any particular point of time, this will be described by this. Okay. Now this was for a spherical wave front. Now suppose if you have a plane wave front. If these are the light rays, the wavefront will be like this, right? Because it's always perpendicular. So the wavefront that is moving is like this. These are all parallel, sorry for the drawing. So these are all parallel. These are all moving like this. Okay? This parallel wavefronts, they are moving like this. Now, I told you how it is moving because by drawing the phages at any point of time. Because the locus, you draw the locus at any point of time. That the locus of all the same phases points, the points having the same phases, they are the wavefronts. So we got it. Now how the Heisen's principle help us to deduce this? Now the Heisen principle is based on two assumptions. What are these assumptions? First, that each point on the given or primary wavefront. Primary wavefront means the initial one where you have the wavelets from where the waves will originate that we have discussed. It acts as a source of secondary wavelets. That's what we saw. Suppose if this was a wavefront. Now each point on this, obviously there are infinite number of points. I'm just drawing, picking the points from in between. Now this from here, what happens? The waves originates. What will happen? The waves will originate from here like this. It acts as a point source. So waves are originating like this. Similar thing happens from here. This, this, this. Similar thing happens from here. Waves are originating like this. Similar thing happens from here. Now there are these infinite points. So how do you get a wavefront at a later point? So now from this diagram, I will draw another diagram that will make things clear. I consider only two points to make to keep the picture more clear. Now this will act as a this will act as a point source. So you have wavefronts coming like this. This also acts as a point source. It is coming like this. Now what is happening here is that this is how these point sources are acting as secondary sources they generate secondary wavelets what are secondary wavelets these things are the secondary wavelets this one this one this one these are the secondary wavelets okay now how do we find out the wavefront at a later time see now if this is the wavefront that has gone in time t and this is the wavefront that is gone in time t that means these these were in the same phase so after the same time this is the point and this is the point. These are the corresponding ones, right? So they are in the same phase. So if you join this, it will be like this. So this will be your new wavefront, this dotted one that you see. Now, why I have drawn like this? Because for every point when you will draw, for every point, you will have the points coming here like this, like this. And you will get a wavefront. So this is how it's moving. Had you a parallel wavefront like this, these were the points. Okay, so now this is moving, this will act as a point source, it is moving like this, again this is acting as a point source, this is moving like this, point source moving like this. So now this point that you see, this point that you see and this point, these are the corresponding points, which have the same phase, same state. 
So again, this will be like this, like this, like this. See how it is moving. Okay. Now, second assumption is that the new position of the wavefront at any instant causes secondary wavefront is the envelope of the secondary wavelets at that instant. Now, this is the envelope that I drew. Okay, you can see this. But this envelope, this dotted line that I drew after I what what I did first is that I drew these. The from the sources I drew the wave, the waves that are coming out. Now from the waves I take those waves that are the same phase, means the same state, and the locus of that. If you draw, I draw it, uh, I add it by the these dotted lines. What I get is the wavefront. This is what the Heisen's principle says. So it does this by taking considering these are the point sources. These are the point sources that it considered as the source of secondary wavelets, and then you draw the wavefronts.